Hello, welcome to episode three of What Did We Get Today? We're again at uh, Pets Plus Natural in Lawrenceville, New Jersey. We got 15 boxes of fish in today from Lyle's Fish Farm in Florida. Got uh, fish and plants. Start opening boxes and see what all we got. I haven't even seen an invoice yet, so I don't know for sure what they sent. Um, yeah. First bag is fancy guppies. They look really nice. First time I've ordered guppies from Florida in a long time. And uh, I think I'm glad I did. Fire mouths. Rosy barbs. Blue convicts. It's one that they kind of specialize in down there. They got a few, uh, a few really nice fish with a lot of blue in them. Next box. Oh, these are uh, larger rosy barbs. These are all male. Boy, they are nice. She told me they were. Um, medium uh, mori eyes, blue dolphins. Medium koi angels. Uh, this is probably Plecos. Oh, no. Oh, this is uh, Large Angels. I don't know how well you can see that there. Got the uh, newspaper in between, so hard to see in it. And a half a box of rainbows, which would probably, yeah, that makes these the ornate rainbows. One of my very favorites. Actually, probably my very favorite rainbow. Uh, love the finish, the patterns and stuff that those guys get when they get some size to them. All right, I'm going to float these, and then we'll get to the next brown. Thanks. All right, next round. Pink convicts. This is actually the fish that really got me hooked on the hobby. You know, it's one of those ones we kind of, all of us experienced hobbyists look down on. And it's boring and it's easy and it's beginner fish and anybody can breed it. But you know what? That's really what makes them great. Um, if you've never bred fish before, it's a perfect one to start with. They're easy to breed. Their parental behavior is fascinating. Really a great, great fish. It's true of those blue convicts that we had earlier, too. Um, little bristlenose plecos. Look, they came in really nice. Bolana socks. One of those cool, cool live birds you don't see very often. Oh, see those? Pike live bear. It is piscivorous. It will eat fish if you need. Uh, Need a fish to uh, eliminate culls, things like that. That's a good one for you. Albino zebras. They're supposed to be, yeah, they look like they are the regular old style albino zebra, like the albino BB zebra, which is still one of the great fish on that side of the hobby, one of the great domestic forms of umbunas. When they get big, they really have nice color too. Like lots of pink in there and the nice barring. Uh, let's see what we have here. We have a rainbow here, and it's not tagged. I'm gonna to to figure out what those are. I think that's Duridii. I have to double check. Red wag platies. Nice color on those. Another rainbow. Those might be the deep water creek. Gold dust mollies, nice community fish, adds a nice splash of color, real hearty. Last box in this group. Freshwater clams, had a special order for these. Good filter feeder, helps to clear up. If you got green water, they'll help clear it up. Just um, two inch plecos, I ordered three inch, but they were out of them, subbed down a size. Pine Ridge Swordtail, really nice green swordtail. Nice length on the door, on the uh, tail extensions on those. And finally, uh, Salvanai, young Salvanai. Beautiful Central American. Catch you again in a couple of minutes after I get these guys floated. Okay, last round of fish. Uh, I did find 
in getting to these, I came across the box of uh, feeder guppies and a box of ghost shrimp. So not going to show you those. Everybody's seen them a million times. All right, let's see what's in here. Uh, silver tip tetras. Nice large silver tips. Those really are nice. Yellow labs. Exasperatus. One of the really coolest of the uh, Umbudas. Love the pattern on them. And chocolate cichlids. What's the sand? Lights doing funky things. I hope you can see those. It's an awesome, awesome fish. Probably my favorite of the uh, the larger Central Americans. Um, yeah, one of the peacocks. I can't remember which one I ordered off the top of my head. Gonna have to look at the invoice for that one. Red Empress. Another peacock. Yeah, I was hoping there'd be a little color in those, but there's not. Don't remember ordering a high of Brycon, so I'm trying to figure out what these are. Um, they might be surpays, just not showing any color. I'm going to have to look, see what they invoiced them as. You got a couple of half boxes in here with uh, newspapers. So. Oh, these are blue angels. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Yeah, you can see them. And electric blue Texas. Another fish these guys are really known for down there. All right, let me check that invoice real quick. Tell you what those tetras were and tell you what all the rainbows are. Some of them, as I was floating them in the tanks, it was a lot more obvious. Um, there were Parkinson's, Herbert Axelrod Eye, uh, double check myself, yeah, the uh, Deepwater Creeks and Deridias were the, uh, yeah, those bigger ones, and uh, so the Madagascar's, the Ornates, and the Australians, we knew all those. Um, let's see. One of those was Eureka Reds, and the other one was Red Shoulders. I have to uh, do a count on on them to see which one is which. I'm gonna guess the bigger ones were probably the Eureka Reds. Uh, and then we got a box of plants, so I'm trying to figure out whether I should kind of unwrap them and then show them all to you, or just put them all in the tanks and film them in the tanks. So we'll figure that out and get back to you in a little bit. Thanks. Uh, a few highlights after the guys are in the tanks, and they just went in, so they're still acclimating pretty much. They're kind of a little jet lag, but we got uh, freshwater clams, gold dust mollies. Let's look at the red on these pineapple swords. You know, you saw them coming out of the box, they were really red. There's a lot of blue on this tank right now on the lighting, so um, they are amazing. Decent swords, not huge, but decent swords, but great, great color. While we're on the subject of sword tails, and while we're on the subject of sword tails, these are the Pine Ridge, which is a nice strain of greens. Nice sword on quite a few of the males, about as long as the body on quite a few of them. Um, but really nice color. You get it without the reflection of the light. You really see the colors coming out on them. Nice patch of rosy barbs, big male rosy barbs. And a real nice contrast with those black ladder tail mollies. I haven't ordered Florida bred fancy guppies in a long time because the quality wasn't great on them. And I needed guppies this time and I asked her how, uh, how they were and she told me they were really nice. She wasn't kidding. Got lyre tails, got nice, uh, nice delta tails in there. Really nice mix of colors too.
One of those fish that's been in the hobby a long time, but I think has always been underappreciated. That's the Pearl Danio. You know, nice purple colors on these. Just a pretty, pretty fish. Incredibly hardy, easy to breed, easy BAP points if you need them. It's a nice community fish. Nice batch of red wag platties. Really nice color on these. Deepwater Creek rainbows. Nice fish. Rainbows. Yellow rainbows, Herbert Axel Rod Eye. Very nice. And um, Blue Angels. Some of those are blushers, some are not. There's a couple of veils in there, really nice veils too. Some medium koi angels. In there in the dark. Doing, redoing lights in this row. Um, red spotted gold severums came in very nice. And these guys are very impressive. Look at the colors on those. Those are Parkinson's rainbows. Our Nate rainbows, if I can find an angle there that works. A little stressed out there. I said earlier, my favorite of the, the Melanotania type rainbows. Some larger rainbow or uh, larger angelfish. Yeah, it's probably gonna be hard to see, but uh, good looking batch of Madagascar rainbows. A lot of socks. Just coming in today, didn't stop them from eating guppies. You can see a number of them have bulges in their tummies already. Been in the tank with half an hour or so, and they're already eating. Just a cool library. If you've never kept these, they are a lot of fun, but they are highly piscivorous. Nice group of, uh, let's see, three, three and a half, four inch uh, blue acaras. You need a medium sized fish to go in a larger community tank with some medium to large fish, this is a good one for you. Some batch of Salvanine, Electric Blue Texas, the best angle with the odd light reflections is probably these guys over here, Black Belts, and Fire Mouths, Blue Convicts, Pink Convicts, and then around to the other side. Albino zebras. Beautiful batch. Get nice pink bars as they grow. See albino with the BB, they're really a nice, nice fish. There's Asperatus. In with you red-headed max that are left from last time. Yellow labs. Pretty strain of those, nice color. All right, so I'm gonna unwrap these here, so just bear with me for a second while we get everything undone. That's the Anubius Fraser Eye. Just got a couple of them. I had never ordered them in this size from these guys before. So I wanted to see what they came in like. You can see how big they were. Those are nice. So definitely be ordering them again. And I love getting these uh, square foot micro swords. These are awesome. If you need to really make a tank look good instantly, and you want a foreground carpet, these are fantastic for that. And you know, you can wear it like a hula skirt and do whatever you want with it, but you can cut those into any size, any shape, just to make them work around rocks and driftwood and whatnot. So it really works out well in the foreground of a tank. Usually what I will end up doing with them in here is I'll cut them down into, you know, smaller pieces like two inch by six inch pieces, something like that, and then we'll sell them from there. And then horn work, not real exciting, but hey, you know, everybody loves it. Live bears love it. Babies get up in there. It works out really well.
So that's everything that came in in plants. Um, I will get them in a tank and then shoot another video showing you those as well. So we'll talk to you again soon. Okay, so this time we're gonna have some bulbs and a couple things we need to unwrap. So these uh, came in as dwarf lily bulbs, which temp technically that would be Nymphia stellata. Finding more often than not of late though, the last couple of years that comes in as Nymphia, or I'm sorry, Nymphia uh, rubra, which is the red tie lily. Either one of them's nice. Got uh, plenty of red ties in stock though. Hoping those will turn out to actually be stellata, which has green leaves instead. These are assorted tiger lotus. It could be green or, or red. We won't know until they grow out a little bit. And uh, Madagascar lace plant bulbs. I actually ordered quite a few more bulbs, but that was all that came in. Uh, it's a pound of java moss. And we got some big uh, Anubius fraseri. And a square foot of microsword liliopsis. And a package of hornwort. So I'll unwrap those for you next. Hang on. Okay, next we'll do the bunch plants. Uh, this is Alternanthera Scarlet, uh, Scarlet Tempo. Amania gracilis, one of my favorite plants. Lovely red color on these and the way the leaves curve. Uh, fine leaf anacris, we already have regular anacris in stock, fair amount of that. Um, Limnophila aromatica, or Limnophila, depending on how you want to say that. And another one of those, same genus, Hipparoides. Dark red Ludwigia. I'm going to show you all these when I get up in the tanks as well, so you know you'll get a little better look at them. So we'll get some odd reflections off these bags. Needle leaf Ludwigia, regular temple plants, pennywort, rotala. That's your basic one. It turns pink when it's happy. And this is a new one on me, or at least it's a new name. It's one I hadn't seen them have on the list before. It's rotala species Vietnam. Uh, yeah, actually, and it says Vietnam Hurrah, which it didn't have on the list. The list just said Vietnam. So it'll be interesting to see uh, what those do over the next week or two. Okay, I'm going to show you the plants in a couple of steps here. This is how they come into us. Uh, corkscrew valve, somebody transposed something there. You're supposed to get a lot more than 12. Uh, contortionist valve. Red jungle valve. Jungle valve, which actually looks redder than the red. Uh, the Kleiner Bar Swords, the Little Bear Swords, love those. Rose Swords, you can see these are mediums. You can see all the variation in the size. These are medium Amazon Swords, a bunch of them. Red Rubens came in nice. Uh, the Dwarf Four Leaf Clover, that's Crenata, Marcellia Crenata, great plant. Dwarf Hairgrass, Crinum Calamistratum. And some Anubius, got small barter eye. Large barter eye, and then there'll be some more in the next one. We'll spread the next group out and we'll show you those as well. All right, as promised, plants now that they've been planted in tanks, or at least most of them have been. A little bit of Chinese ivy down here in the end too. The Anubius Fraser eye, a couple of nice big pieces. It's the Liliopsis, obviously I haven't cut that up and planted it yet, just dropped it in a tank. Lily bulbs, hornwort, java moss, this is what I left the java moss from last time. Contortionist Valisneria, contortionist valve. Mm, a bunch of uh, Italian in some of these tanks. Some nice Wintai Red down there. Uh, that's the uh, Madagascar Lace Bulbs. Madagascar Lace Plant from last time. Jungle Val. This is Crypt Undulata. Back to the Jungle Val. The Red Jungle Val. Pennywort. Some uh, Trident Leaf Java Fern that I had around. Uh, some more red leaf wintai and more pennywort. And you remember when I was going through there and there was a Hypesa brycot and I couldn't remember what it was. Couldn't remember ordering it. Well, it was HY511 Tetras. And they're actually really, really nice. It's 
some Sagittaria that I had from last time. Oh, more Italian Bell. This came in as Dwarf Sagittaria, but it's getting about six inches tall. Um, regular Corkscrew Bell. We had a mistake on that. I should have had a lot more than the, the 12 that I got. Uh, Golden Coin Anubius. Anubius Nana. Some of the Red Selaginella. This is a really nice uh, Pearl Danios as well. Four Leaf Clover. More of the Red Selaginella. Some of the Red Tie Lilies from last time. Dwarf Hairgrass. And uh, Rainbow Shiner's in there. And obviously this is the next row that's going to get scrubbed. Really definitely needs it. So flip around to the other side here. Uh, Amazon sword plants up there. More Amazon swords. These are red Reuben swords in the back. And Anubius barter right here. Get uh, regular old Anacris down here and here. Uh, some black Amazon swords up top. The Cameroon crinums, crinum calamistratum. Some larger Anubius barteron. More of the black Amazon swords. And those pineapple swords, which are so nice. Rose sword plants. Some uh, Reuben swords that I already had. See how the clams are all digging into the sand, it's what they like to do. Ruffled swords back there. Grand swords here. And, oh, Kleiner bar swords. Little bear swords. These chocolate cichlids are coming up off the bottom now, but of course when I walk over to the tank, they all drop down again. But you can really see Get an idea what the color is going to be on these. These are going to be some of the really, really pretty ones. Uh, 